you've generated seven figures over the you know multiple seven figures right. over the last seven years, but this is the first year that you've generated seven figures. Go into what your business model is today. What do you what do you do and who do you serve? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Well, I want to touch on we think of leverage as financial leverage. Right. Let me use leverage to buy this piece of real estate or I'll use leverage to work with this person or do this or that. But we don't think about it as how can I use leverage in my business to essentially get more for what I put in? I mean, as an example, maybe four years ago, not that long ago, I used to charge, I mean, a lot less than I do now. Let's just say that. Let's not put numbers on it, but a lot less than I do now. Um, And it's just supply and demand, right? There was decent demand, but not exceptional demand. Um, so essentially for me looking at leverage, I was putting in the same amount of time in each, let's say phone call, consultation call to get a client that I am now, but the price point was of course much lower. It's a different offer, but essentially now I've just found the right leverage to create the right offer where people look at it as a no brainer, right? I offer an e-commerce service, helping people build a turnkey type of store, a hands-off e-commerce store on Amazon, Walmart, um, even TikTok. They just opened up their shopping platform. That should be massive for my clients, should be huge. Um, But going back to my point, it's about I'm doing the same thing I've been doing for so many years, but I found a way to structure my offer in a way that's more valuable, going to make more money and just overall be more attractive to my ideal client. And so again, I can essentially take even less phone calls consultation calls than I did four years ago, but make maybe 10 or 20 times the money. And so I know a lot of us think we work hard and I'm sure many people watching this work extremely hard, but I think you have to look at what am I working hard on? Like, what is that? You can cut grass with scissors. You can do it. I mean, it eventually will get cut. Mm -hmm. Is that the most efficient way to do it? Absolutely not. Just like your business, you really have to look at your business idea. Is the way I'm approaching this, is my goals, are my goals, and is my time frame, is it realistic? And I don't love the word realistic, but again, a lot of people think, let me launch my business today and make a million dollars in the first 12 months versus saying, okay, this year I can make 50,000. Next year I can make 75, then 150, then 300, then a million, right? And so I think you have to look at, again, what leverage you have with your business but then what's your time horizon, right? Right. How long are you really looking at this as an opportunity? Not with what I do, but in general, right? So many people want to go to the gym and spend 30 days working out and have a six pack and look amazing. Um, but that's just not the way it works, right? If you're obese and you go to the gym for 30 days, you may lose some pounds, but you have a lot of work to do, a lot of probably failing to do, just like Denzel mentioned. And so I think it's right. about looking at it as, as long as you're making progress, And there's a difference between being busy and being productive, right? So many of us, when we're starting a business, we're like, oh, I'm working 80 hours a week. I'm so busy. People love saying they're busy. They're busy. They're busy. But it's also known as busy work. Like, oh, I'm in school right now. They're just giving me a bunch of busy work, which means like, oh, it's not important work. So in your business, you have to look at what is going to drive my end result. For Denzel, it's making more videos. But if Denzel makes more videos, he gets more views, he gets more subscribers, you grow your business, right? So in my business, if I talk to more people, I have more conversations, I'll get more clients, I'll grow my business. But a lot of us with our companies, we get so distracted. Uh, We were just talking about this earlier today. You can say, oh, I want to make videos or I want to do phone calls, but I have to look in this direction too. And I want my hand in this pot and over here where you got to keep the main thing the main thing where that really should be whatever that is for you, getting new clients, marketing, getting your name out there, making YouTube videos, whatever it may be, getting leverage financially, whatever it is, you have to look at that as if I do that in the morning, whatever happens for the rest of the day, I'm gonna be successful based on me doing what's important from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. But a lot of people, they do what's important for other people. They're like, oh, my cousin, they asked me to do this thing for them And I have to pay my credit cards and I have to pay this SunPass invoice or whatever little things add up. And you're like, oh, wow, it's noon and I haven't done anything productive. You've been busy, right? You may need some coffee. You may need some lunch, um, but you've done nothing to really grow your business long term. And there's a vast difference between, again, being busy and being productive. If you're productive, you don't need to make all the money right away. You're making real progress 
if you're being busy, you might look 10 years from now and be in the same place. So again, vast difference between busy and productive. Right.